Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. Today we're gonna be talking about the Moser slide pod and um, who is it for, how good is it, what it can do, what it cannot do, and if I can recommend it at this time. All coming up. <music> All right, guys, um, welcome back. Ah, if you're here for the first time, I would love it if you just um, subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'm sure you'll be comfortable here because here we do music, movies, uh, tech reviews, movie reviews, and um, a lot more. Uh, I believe you, uh, you're you going to be interested in the content we provide, in the actual short films and stuff like that. Uh, music videos um, yeah but if also you're into production and you have a YouTube channel or stuff like that you know you might want to and you subscribe to this channel let hit me up so I can you know subscribe to your channel as well because I like to you know rub minds together and I believe we can grow together okay um, that out of the way I want to go ahead and talk about the Moses light pod very quickly the concept of the Moses light pod actually blew me away my major aim was the concept I had for a music video, which um, is coming up soon. I'll give you more information about that this early December. I'll be shooting it. Yeah, I got it for that purpose. And at the end of the day, you know, I tested a little bit and went on. I did the unboxing a little bit and went on to, to get on to other stuff I was doing. Uh, so by the time I was really free to like do a proper review of the slide pod, I started noticing some stuff. Um, sliding wise, you don't have a problem. You usually don't have a problem. Sometimes it might still act out, but I didn't notice it on my own. Um, the sliding was perfect uh, for me and I didn't have a problem with that. So. I just took it back and forth, it was always working, everything went well, so I was pretty much satisfied. Someone, one of you guys on my channel did make a comment and say, hey, um, what's going on? Uh, do you find that your uh, slide pod vibrates? Because mine is, and I was like, nope. I And one thing is that I didn't up upgrade mine on time. I started using my slide pod um, without an upgrade. And then when he said that, I became even scared. I didn't notice any jerking. I didn't notice anything. And now he's saying he upgraded his own and I haven't. So what should I do now? So I was a little bit skeptical, but I went ahead to upgrade mine. And I did notice, uh, I didn't notice anything immediately. It did go smoothly on the, slide, on the sliding um, perspective. It went on sliding perfectly, and um, but when I went on to do the actual vertical movements and the um, back and forth movement slanted, um, I wanted uh, a shot in my video where the dolly is like um, positioned this way with the camera, so it would keep going up and down, up and down this way. First of all, I did not notice uh, the first time because the part of the music video, the concept is to speed it up um on ground like when we're actually recording and then slow it down in post and still let the mouth sync that's what i wanted to do so when i did it on this slide pod it didn't register at first that it was jerking it took me a while to figure it out because when i played back it was in slow motion after confirming to uh, 24 frames per second it slowed down that movement wasn't obvious uh, then I decided to like, okay, I'm going to also have other shots, let's see. So I started doing um, real time and then I noticed from the footage, right? And then I looked at the clear stuff again and then I got my camera and I actually recorded go up and down and I got some shots for you to um, show you what really happens because um, on, the on, on the vertical plane it goes um, when it starts it's first of all it won't stay on the axis that you let it or you set it on it's going um, upward it goes like this 
and then starts going up with a little bit of vibration and then when it gets to the top it changes again and then it, it comes wobbling down and then changes so it was it was pretty disappointing to find out out like really ah uh, i can't believe that you know such a project with so much prospect with so much um you know that i thought it was very creative very awesome obviously it's going to happen obviously it's going to be a successful um device at the end of the day but a lot of fine tuning still need to be done and um, the price for it wasn't a joke i mean for me i thought that i felt like well it is what it if it works it is worth it like you know i wasn't going to hesitate and say you know wow uh, well, you know but the price was 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 much like you know it was expensive especially when you come in to find out that it's not meeting um you know what it it's not meeting up to the standard what it says it can do right so um at first i thought it was um i saw this i thought maybe this thing can't handle as much as it says it can maybe it's the weight so um i did the first shot with my black magic camera like you will see in the picture in the video and um on the along with the camera the camera in the cage uh and then i had the small base cage on a mini um um 15 millimeters rod uh, which was like four inches long you know and um you know basically i felt like maybe it can handle that weight so uh even though they said it could um but let me turn turn it down so i took my canon F m50 which was pretty much this just just like this you know with the uh 18 to 55 canon lens which was pretty much a light camera right it's still as you will see in the video it the same thing happened so i knew it wasn't going on you know it wasn't about weight it wasn't about um uh, maybe it should be lighter weight it will probably do the same even with a gopro so it's a it's an internal thing and i doubt if, a, if an update can solve that i think um yeah but i'm hoping that that can be the case i would jump on that device anytime any day this is resolved but i had to give away my give out mine you know because it wasn't going to be um helpful uh to me uh, the way i wanted it so i had to you know because i mean i bought it for a purpose and i want to achieve that purpose so i returned it got something else which i'll talk to you about later what i got that can do all these things that um i want to do but i mean for me anytime these issues are reserved because of the comfort and the um and the compatibility of that device anytime that is resolved i will still be on the train because that's a very 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 lovely device because if you want to do interviews if you then it's just so it gives you that relief to get less with you to take less with you you know you don't have to carry a lot of gadgets as you know um that would have been really really helpful for a lot of things Am I trying to say don't get it? <laughs> um, not exactly. If you already gotten it, you might want to. Um, if you already gotten it and you're stuck with it, is you're going back past your the 30 days or you know you can't return it again. You already used it or even you know roughly used or damaged, you can't return it again. Um, well, if you're keeping yours, there are some ways you can get away with. Slow motion is going to be your major key. There are frames in the shots that you can use. So in those frames, even though there's, there may still be vi uh, slight um, vibrations, because you're recording in slow motion, uh, um, in the Blackmagic camera, you know how you conform. I think the GA5 does that too, where you could just set it on camera and when you play back and post, it's already in slow motion. But however, if you're shooting higher frame rate, um, you could you could bring it down and conform it in post and it becomes slow and that way your footage will um, You know the vibration or the jerks will mellow out and it will be hard to spot out so uh, That way you can still use it um, Another way is um, stick on the sliding Stick to the sliding shots. You're good on the sliding for any um, for the regular um, natural recording level 
that would be um, fine as well. And then, um, yeah, I mean, if you if you have the money, I would say go for it. Uh, but I just wanted you to know, I just wanted you to know what what's up, you know, what's for real, to let you know the truth right now, you know, before you buy, okay? Um, if you have faith that the upgrade, I could have kept mine, but uh, for, I bought it for a reason, and so I wanted, I had to return it because it wouldn't serve that reason. Um, I was going to play around with it creatively in other ways, but um, I just wanted to be focused on this is why I bought it. Now I won't need it anytime soon. Uh, let me return it and, and get back. Whenever they're ready, I'll get it back. So I didn't want to tie up cash. Yeah, 500 bucks is a lot of money, bro. So I didn't want to tie, tie up cash there and get something else again. And, you know, we don't know if that's going to be resolved. Uh, but um, if I had bought, uh, I, bet, I mean, there was there were certain things I wanted to do with that device. And I had already gone ahead. I almost, check this out, I almost bought two slippers at the same time. How would that have been, man? Right? Uh, because of the ideas, I, ha I had a lot of ideas. I thought I was going to blow the world with, well, I guess people have seen most of these things before. Well, I guess I was going to blow up, you know, everyone that could find the time to watch the video. Like, blow your minds. And um, with what I had in my head, I bought two. I wanted to buy two, rather. I eventually just thought, man, let, let's see. Let's figure it out. Let's see one. I bought one, and I bought a lot of, well, not a lot, three other items, accessories that I was going to use with this Moser Slipod. And it did not work out well. And uh, some of them are still in their packs today. I didn't even get to open them. Uh, but I still didn't return them. And that, they're not so expensive things uh, anyway. They're not so much expensive. They're not like the Slipod itself. But I had to, I kept them because I still hope I can get my Slipod back. So is it a good a device? Awesome. It is very awesome, but it needs to need update. I know it's going to be successful eventually. Um, it, I mean, it's, it's going to, because they already have the idea. And uh, maybe some, it's some units that are defective. I don't know, but I didn't have the time. I didn't want to be trading back and forth and returning and getting again. I didn't want all that. I just want to, uh, my, my thought right now is give it a break. Let them settle it out. And then when, when they are more confident and they are sure and they are, you know, several campaigns, then I'll jump back on it and have my accessories waiting for it. Um, and we'll still go on that ride and try to, you know, show what I, what's possible with that slide board because it's limitless, actually. You know, as some other things turn out, some other devices come up, you're going to find ways that you can use with that slide board. As some other technology keeps improving, that slide board will still be relevant to it because it is awesome. It's just awesome. But I just wanted you to know before you buy. That's what I just wanted to say, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this will help up somebody. Um, if you have the money to spare to like like an investment, yeah, go ahead and do it. If you need it for sliding, uh, if you know you want to wait and get it as well, uh, don't go ahead and buy another slider. This will do a good sliding job for you. Get it and then wait for the upgrade and stuff like that. I believe that um, if the upgrade don't solve it, then they will they will find a way to compensate those that already has it because um, that's a lot of money to just let go. So if they fix the problem, then probably everybody can send theirs back and they'll fix it. So go ahead, if you have the money to spare, um, buy the, this slide pod. Of course, links will be in the description if, you, if you're interested. I just wanted you to know this is the situation right now. And um, till we hear that they upgraded that stuff, you make the call, it's your decision, it's your money. And for right now, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If this was helpful to you, if it was helpful to you, hit the thumbs up. If it wasn't helpful to you and you're just nice, still hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, especially if you're very nice. We got a lot coming up, but I gotta go now. And if you're nice enough to subscribe to this channel, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Ouch!